Hi there, flight test community members. My name is Nicholas Block, and today I wanted to tell you a little bit about how I taught the Aviation Merit Badge through um, RC Flight. So first of all, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I'm, uh, I've am i been a Boy Scout since I was in first grade, so now I'm going into 11th grade next year, junior year in high school. Um, I re received my Eagle Scout two years ago in 2014, and I have learned so much through Boy Scouts, and it has really shaped who I am, taught me that I want to be an engineer, but I also love leadership and things like that. But also I've learned through flight tests some really awesome, uh, of course, aircraft skills and how to build airplanes, how to fly, but also some really good life skills. And I really wanted to teach that to my troop and um, the scouts and show them what, what flight was all about. So first of all, getting ready for flight day, it was really important to do some logistical preparation. The first thing was ordering materials. I worked with uh, Mitchell from FT STEM. He was fantastic in helping me out with all that. He got me set up with a whole bunch of tiny trainers for a pretty good price and actually gave me a couple extras too, which was really nice. That came in handy. So thanks for that, Mitchell. Uh, the next thing was getting a weatherproof location. Um, I initially planned to do this outside, but that could have been pretty bad if it had rained. So I actually found that if we did it at my church, which has a gym, pretty good sized gym at that, uh, we could hold this inside and have a weatherproof location. The third thing you need when, when you're running a merit badge is a merit badge counselor. That's the person who actually signs off that the scouts have in fact earned the merit badge. So I uh, contacted the local merit badge counselor, talked to him and explained him my plans and he was happy to come along and uh, help out with the, the process and sign everybody off once we finished. And then a the fourth thing, very important, was food because this was uh, pretty much a whole day event. We started at uh, 10 and ended at 3, so we had to have lunch in the middle. And my uh, parents were super duper helpful with that. I really, really appreciate that and can't thank them enough for helping out with that, as well as just all the other preparation. So yeah, that was most of the logistics. I'll talk about more of it in the article itself. Uh, but uh, moving on to the bookwork. The bookwork was the main stuff we had to cover before we got to the actual building of the tiny trainers. So the pre-work we talked about, I actually previously made a video that um, walked the guys through step-by-step step all the pre-work. So I sent that out to them a couple weeks beforehand. Actually, if any of you want to use that, if you ever want to teach us merit badges, you're more than welcome to. So um, at the actual event, we walked through that video again, just to kind of make sure everybody had all the info, and talked about how airplanes work, how engines work, airfoils, control surfaces, center of gravity, dihedral, maneuvers, avionics, and licensing, and a whole bunch of more stuff. So that was um, the main talk time. We talked for about 45 minutes, and the scouts were really attentive, which was nice to see. We got through quite a bit and everyone was raising their hands, so that worked out well. And then I had an airplane display of a bunch of my uh, my boneyard of airplanes, and some friends of mine brought their quads, and there were a couple a couple other planes there too, which was really cool. And it was really great, because I was able to get some of my friends to help out and teach what they knew, and it was really cool there. So then we moved on to building, moved over into the gym, and we talked about, first of all, basic building techniques like A and B folds, as well as making really square airframes, because it was super important for them. And then just walking through, we started with the fuse, or sorry, the nose, and we all built the nose. And then we went on to the wing, and uh, built the wing, went on to the uh, fuselage. And actually we used the uh, flight test method of not using a knife, which was awesome. We used markers and um, credit cards and all that good stuff, and that was so helpful. So thank you very much, flight test, for putting that video out, because that saved a lot of, a lot of headaches, especially of doing double bevel score cuts. So then after building, it was time to do some flying. So initially the plan was to buddy box the scouts and some pre-built airplanes. However, due to the weather, it was not, that was not going to work out. So instead, um, I brought some simulators and some other my friends brought simulators too. And I um, had some of the older scouts set up the simulators and they were running them and teaching the guys how to fly, which was pretty cool. They did a really nice job and the scouts really enjoyed doing that. So I really appreciate all the help with that there. And then, of course, the most fun part was chuck gliders with the... Um, tiny trainers and it turns out if you're ever looking for good nose weight a big box of bullets not cartridges because that could explode but just plain bullets works really well because someone brought a big box of bullets so we had contests of who could throw the farthest the longest and do the best aerobatics which is pretty cool and then uh, demonstration we also had um, I'm uh, more of an airplane pilot I have flown with some quads and tricopters but I prefer airplanes and I fly a Twisted Hobbies Crack Yak 55 which I absolutely love and I, I did some uh, some very technical stick banging in the, in the gym. It uh, just basically my attempts to not hit the walls with some style. And then my, uh, my friend Daniel Chia, he flew his QAVR um, setup, which was fantastic. He's getting so good with that thing. He's, um, he's gonna be the next Alex Zavada, just considering how well he did inside and all that good stuff. So he, he chased me around a little bit and we did that. Actually, another friend of mine um, who has been building planes but has never flown, got to fly his FT flyer in that gym for the first time. So that was pretty cool too. So then at the very end, what I actually did is I 
um, set the scouts some information on how they could complete their airplanes using the FT Power Pack A, or just start over with the whole Tiny Trainer kit. And um, a lot of them are very interested, so I'll be working with them on that as, uh, as time goes on. And that should be pretty cool. So just lastly, I want to thank um, my parents for helping me put this whole thing together. It was really helpful, just all the logistics and stuff. I want to thank all my friends who were able to help out and volunteer and um, use their knowledge to help with the build. And I especially want to thank um, Flight Test for teaching me how all this works because I really would not have been able to do it without all of you. So thank you very much and goodbye.